Greetings friends, my name is John Gabriel and this is the new Calculus channel. Now, uh, there's something I want to discuss with you which is not directly related to mathematics but has to do with the psychology of people, of the kind of people and especially academics that I have encountered in my life's journey. So, there are certain academics that will not even bother to look at your work at first and they will look for the slightest hint of what they consider to be uh, a mental uh, defect or a mental disease so to speak and uh, those are the kind of people that I specifically want to put off from visiting my channel and investigating my works because they're the kind of people who are close-minded they're not interested in investigating anything new they're not even interested in learning anything new and those particular academics will instantly reject any knowledge which does not fit into their mold of uh, what knowledge should be so they have confirmation bias they have uh, a certain mindset uh, and they look for particular uh, behaviors or aspects of an individual to see whether they should invest any time at all in that individual. So one of the things I do is I call myself the great John Gabriel. Now, somebody might say that's a delusion of grandeur. Well, you know, uh, whether I'm great or not, is really not important. What's important is what I claim in my work. Now, uh, I consider myself great, and the reason for that is that I have accomplished things which no one, no, no one else in the history of humanity could. Okay, so the new calculus is a great accomplishment. Not even the the best minds on the planet, Newton, Leibniz, all the people that came after him were able to accomplish what I did. So from that point of view, I think I could consider myself great. But uh, people say, well, should you say that about yourself? <laughs> well, okay, so here's why I do say it. For the very reason that I want to put off those academics with that mindset. I know that they cannot be corrected. So you see, people who are insecure in the knowledge, who are Part of, part of a particular cult, which I call the cult of academia, will not be interested in any knowledge that is uh, a deviation from what they have come to believe is true. You just try to convince a mainstream academic that said theory is flawed. Wow. The chances of you doing that are pretty slim. You're not going to succeed. There are very few people who will even begin to entertain your ideas, okay? They will instantly see you as a threat, as a danger, as mentally deficient or mentally ill, and you will be placed into a category which they love to label as, first of all, crank, then all the other uh, defamatory labels psychopath, sociopath, uh, narcissist is one of their favorites, and they have many labels. But in any case, um, I'm actually one of the most humble people you can come across. And I'm also, I used to be very generous when I had money. I don't have money anymore, but I used to have a substantial amount of money, which I don't anymore. I actually did the stupid thing of giving it away. I didn't lose it. I gave it away. Okay, so so it pains me that I, <laughs> I have to deal with these academics. I hate them with a passion. They're horrible people. They have no honesty, no intellectual honesty. They have no interest in truth. They have no interest in education. They do not care about others. I'm the complete opposite of that. Somebody who's a narcissist doesn't give away all their life savings. Somebody who's an, uh, a, a psychopath doesn't come up with the kind of things that I come up with. 
Okay, and somebody who's a sociopath or a psychopath or a narcissist uh, usually gets in trouble with the law. I mean, look at Donald Trump. He's got in trouble with the law so many times. I have never been arrested in my entire life. I've not even been charged. I've lived in many countries. I've worked in China, in the Middle East, in Africa, in the UK. I've been to every state except Alaska. I've never been arrested. I've never been in trouble with the law. Okay, and I've never lost my temper to the point where I did irrational things or behaved irrationally. So actually, you're looking at one of the most stable people on the planet. I don't want to say stable genius, just because some will say, well, that sounds like Donald Trump. And I think that man is an idiot. Okay, and his followers, shockingly so, are idiots to vote for him. Okay. So now I think of the mainstream academics not being too far different from this man. Okay, they are narcissists. They think that because they were granted a PhD that they know everything there is to know, that they can pass psychological diagnosis. And so this particular site here, which I'm going to finish off with now, is a site where you'll see what I'm talking about. All that you'll find here is ad hominem against me. And of course, there's one open question here, which really, it, it doesn't, it doesn't ask anything about mathematics, because it's not even asking about the new calculus, even though it looks like it's asking because it's in quotes. So there's already a doubt sown in the reader's mind as to what this is about. So the, the, the people who post these kind of things also like, you know, if you do a, a search, <clears throat> you'll see that there are several websites out there about me, you know, automatically calling me a crank and crackpot. This guy really here is hilarious. He's the biggest crackpot on the net because even after I corrected him and others have told him that he's wrong, he still maintains that he's right. So, I mean, you know, if there's such a thing as delusion, this James R. Meyer is probably the most deluded. Then there's another guy. Uh, down here from this guy's called Dennis Muller, who's he, he's a, a very strange kind of crank because he's the type of crank who who knows enough to think he's right, but doesn't know enough to know he's wrong. And this is typical of PhDs in mathematics. They instantly believe, you know, after they've been granted a uh, uh, diploma and they've done their quotes, open quotes, defense of their dissertation, which is not worth even an ass wipe, excuse my language. It puts them into a different level entirely. And they're able to pass judgments, not only about their field, but about everything else. And of course, if you type in John Gabriel mental state, you'll see <laughs> that on Quora, some guy uh, does a psychological analysis and calls me uh, borderline delusional or something, but he knows nothing about my works, you know. And so what really puzzles me is that, it, well, it doesn't puzzle me. It's, it's the kind of thing that I want these people to steer away from me. I don't want to have anything to do with them. I don't want them to subscribe to my channel. They're the kind of people who, who are not very intelligent anyway. I mean, thousands of PhDs who I don't care to have anything to do with because they're absolute morons. I mean, they actually personify moron. And there's nothing you can do to change these people. OK, so about the only comment here that makes any sense it comes from a guy who's got nothing to do with mathematics. And <laughs> you can read his comment here. It's quite uh, informative. So I hope you've. Uh, learn something more about me and that I do say certain things to put people that I dislike and I know will not be interested in my ideas. I want to put them off. I want them to stay away from me. I don't want to be around those kind of people. They're incorrigible idiots. And if somebody is insecure, there's no way they're going to investigate anything that threatens in any way or questions in any way their qualifications, their uh, knowledge, their security, and where their status is in life. So those kind of people are the worst kind of people. And there are a lot of them in mainstream academia, a vile, horrible bunch. Okay, 
So anyway, this has been a presentation of John Gabriel's musings on the new calculus channel. I hope that you enjoyed my little uh, talk and that you'll join me again in the next uh, video for more mathematics once I'm able to uh, put together another nice little presentation. So I leave you with all these thoughts and hope you stay safe and take care. Oh, wow, wow, wait a minute. Did I say stay safe? Oh gosh, would a sociopath or a psychopath say that? Hmm, I wonder. Okay, never mind. Uh, till next time, you all take care and we'll be in touch soon. This is a new calculus channel. I'm John Gabriel. Goodbye.